Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now this is the second uh, video in the series of playing around with the Zimmer board. In this one we'll be adding some storage to it because at the moment it just has the internal 32 gigabyte worth of storage. So this one we're not going to be utilizing the PCI Express um, what do you call it slot at the moment. We are just going to be using uh, the SATA uh, connection because I have a one terabyte SSD in it. This one's a, I wouldn't say it's a an expensive or top of the line sort of uh, SSD. It's just a crucial, it gets up to six bit, uh, gigabit a second uh, transfer rate. Um, you know, it's just a simple under a hundred dollar sort of solid state. Uh, and it'll do the job for the Zimmer board and enough for us to play around and start looking at making this a good solid production self-hosting server. So let's just have a quick look around at what we need for this and what is kind of provided out of the box. So when I first got the Zimmer board, this here is the connection that we're going to use for connecting to the um, the Zimmer board to the SSD. So this here, this cable here comes with power and it comes with the connector to the Zimmer board for the um, SATA connection. And then it's just got your all-in-one SATA connection that you're used to um, for plugging in to uh, you know, a hard drive or an SSD. In this case, what we'll cover, so you can see here, but it's pretty obvious that you've got the single power here and then you've got two SATA connections that you can use. But the funny thing is, what I was noticed before is how do you connect two? There's a single power, right? And if each drive needs power, how would that work? And that's where I actually realized that we got this connection here. This came uh, with mine as well, um, and it's the SATA Y cable connection. So what this looks like is it's like a, another cable that if I do actually end up doing two hard drive connections, I can actually just have the single power here, and it supports the two drives. Do you see that? So um, when I actually upgrade to two drives, I can just use this cable instead. So that's nice. But we don't need this for now. We will just be using the stock single uh, power SATA connection. How about we start looking at this? So what we're going to be using is the, again, we'll be plugging in the power and the SATA. So let's start with that. So power, SATA. So this here is, it's pretty straightforward. It just has like that notch at the top. I don't know if you can see that where's my thing can you see the two lines at the top that's what we'll, we just got to make sure that's at the top and that matches the um the top of the power there so let's just make sure that matches and we'll plug it in so that's the i nearly did it upside down after just saying that it needed to go in a certain way <laughs> that's, that's all right i'm kind of off camera there there we go that's in nicely, nice and slotted, very good. And then we'll plug this in here as well. So what annoys me a lot actually with this, do you see this? <laughs> it has to, uh, the, the SATA cable has to twist because you know, SATA only connects one way uh, because where the L shape is and I have to twist it to, to match that L shape. So now there's like a constant bend in this cable um, which just makes it being weird and yeah, it looks weird, but oh well, that's just the way it is. So that's this side done. We have our cable plugged in to our Zoom board. Let's put that to the side. Now let's look at our storage. So again, one terabyte, 2.5 inch solid state drive. Put that up. Um, crucial, nice, easy. Put that up. And no. Right, so here it is. Nice, simple. Weighs like feels like it weighs nothing. <laughs> but light as anything. And it should be nice and simple. All we need to do, line it up. Here's the pins. Match the pins up. Nice and easy. And boom. Boom. Right, just make sure it's all in there nice. That looks good. So, what do we got? We got Let's try to get this all in the view. We've got the Zimmer board, cable connection with the twist that's going to annoy me. <laughs> and then we've got the solid state. 
So essentially, what we should be able to do now is we should be able to plug some power in, some internet in, connect to the CASA OS um, local, and we should be able to go from there. Right out. So um, as like the last video, I'm going to just leave um, a little desk view in the top right hand corner just so you can see uh, everything going on. So we're going, we're on the Mac now, but what we're going to do is plug some power in, plug some, uh, the Ethernet cable in, bam. And now we've got that all connecting. Then I can come over to my Mac and this might take a couple of seconds to load, uh, but we can just come to casa os.local and we'll just wait for it to actually hit. It's going to take a while for this to start up. And we'll just give it a bit of a reload and we'll wait until we hit the login page. And here we are. We've hit the login page. So let me just quickly log in. I'll just move my keyboard so you can't see my password. Bam. Okay, so here we are. So as per usual, uh, we've just been playing around uh, with the Casa OS. Oh, let me just make this uh, full screen so you can see. And I'll zoom in a bit. There we go. That should be a bit better. So what we're going to be looking for here is just coming down to the storage. As you can see here that we just have the 27.06 gigabyte. If I click the settings tab, uh, we'll want to create some storage. And here we can see um, it's seeing under choose drive under this heading here, we can see that it's seeing the one terabyte drive. Well, it's not the full one terabyte, but that's normal. So we can just call this um, uh, SSD storage. How about that? That'll do it. And we'll format and create. And this is just going to format the drive because it's a fresh drive. Uh, it's going to then, uh, I'm assuming going to map it. And we should be able to refresh it. And hopefully that storage will be updated now. And we should have like a terabyte worth of storage, which would be awesome. And this will then set us up for our journey for installing things and trying to make this a solid self-hosting server right i'm going to make it next cloud i'm probably going to move a lot of things over from my raspberry pi i think my raspberry pi for hosting my website is going to be fine um but for other things like next cloud on that i'm probably going to move it over to here so um it looks like it's done i the the funny thing see how we've got like a tick here and stuff like that um i don't know if that was there before but it doesn't really say it's done but i've noticed that if i close this if i hit refresh and then come back here. Oh no, it didn't do it. Um, or do I have to? Oh, there we go. Sorry, it was just loaded update. There we go. You can see now we have a total of 942.88 gigabytes. So we have our storage, which is awesome. So now we can actually start playing around with things, right? We can start installing the tools. So I think what we're going to do next, now that we have our solid state and we have our storage and everything's all connected, we're going to now look at running some services and stuff like that. Um, we're going to, I think, yeah, so the next video will be installing Nextcloud and setting up Cloudflare and stuff like that. And then we'll go from there and then just start really building this out and fleshing it out. But as you can see here, adding storage to this with the provider cable uh, and with a simple solid state drive for less than a hundred bucks, we have a server running with a pretty close to a terabyte of storage and we've still got room for one more drive here and also if we want to use the pci lane with like an nvme drive we can we've got a lot of storage and again i could upgrade this this is just a terabyte you can i think they said you can get up to a maximum of 32 terabytes with this 32 terabytes that's a decent server um so yeah so now we have it running it's happy let's um jump into the next video uh, in about a week i'd say from here and then we will yeah we'll see what we can do so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one